you all. Thank you so much for waking up with us on this beautiful Friday. Now, the week is uh, saying goodbye to all of us, and definitely that means there's going to be a lot of joyous moods around our town. But of course, on this particular day, we do come to celebrate so many things but above all these things we come to celebrate today is to say thank you so much for having spent the whole week with us here on good morning uganda monday to today which is friday for all of you who've been watching us you wake up at 6 30 till the hour of 9 a.m how great is that but away from all those things we do want to make a great uh, tribute to the fallen son of this land it would be and just for us to pro proceed without mentioning that this country, the UPDF, the families, friends, the, the parliament, and of course uh, the members of uh, all these institutions where now the late uh, General Eddie Trumino was serving uh, have befallen grief. I think by yesterday morning we had gotten the news about the death of uh, the General who has served in various capacities as we will, as we will uh, get it later from morning. But for us, good morning Uganda, he's been a friend. We've been hosting him quite a number of times and definitely he's been available at every opportunity that we did invite him to talk about matters of national concern. We've uh, hosted him and he has given great counsel to the country, to the youth and by far in terms of security. We do send our sincere condolences and uh, majorly to the wife, the children, but by far to His Excellency, the President of Uganda, who is one of his mentors, as he always alluded to, and of course, by far, the UPDF. We'll take a moment of silence as we do wait to proceed into our normal programming. So rest in internal peace. On to my comrades. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Felix. How are you? I'm fine, just that uh, all is not well. Uh -huh. We've lost one of the greatest sons of Uganda soil. Uh, that is uh, General Eritumwine, a man who has served in a number of capacities. In 1984, he was the army commander. He served as state minister for defense. He served in security. And to the UPDF family, he's a man actually that many may not know that designed that green camouflage uniform you see. You know, Eritumwine, the emblem, uh, some of his works. Uh, we must recall that he had a bachelor's in arts and he also taught in a number of schools. But also, uh, he was very, very passionate about his faith, that I must say. Uh, I remember knowing General Tumwine at a very early age. Uh, he belonged to a group of born again, it's called Abarokola Abeka Wempe by then. So these people used to converge at Chambogo <coughs> University, I think every second. Sunday of the month, but now they bought land and shifted to Chitende. But he was one of the people, actually the first time, it was my first time to see a soldier, a person coming, because sometimes you used to think that maybe certain uh, faith or religions not um, take, take so much of soldiers. So it was my first time to see this man humbling himself, coming, and he made it regular. Every second Sunday he had to come and fellowship with the brothers. So he loved God. But above also loved music. General Eli Tumwine was a man who had a number of uh, songs here and there all about patriotism, loving your country. And personally, I cannot forget uh, the opportunity I had to host him about two to three times here on UBC TV. And I remember every time we were going out of the studio, one of the things he would say, you must have a purpose in life. Before you do anything, first ask yourself, why am I doing this? What do I want to achieve? And I remember those words now more than ever before and he says for whatever you do why and what am i achieving but I also refer to this generation as the party after party I remember i was with felix and he said this party after party generation must focus must think right well of course uh, we do uh, continue to send condolences to our fallen general friend and definitely a statesman and uh, to you Molin, good morning yes a very good morning to you good morning to our viewers 
But indeed, it is a sad morning because we have a lost, a celebrated a general <coughs> in Miami. And of course, we send our prayers and condolences to the family of uh, the late Eli Tumwini, but also to the president who has mentored him and also uh, the UPDF fraternity uh, for having lost such a very celebrated man in uniform. Now, we do know that he was also serving as the presidential advisor that was uh, from 1996 until 1998. He also served as the director general of the external security organization that was from 1994 until 1996. He will be remembered for his service as the chairman of the High Command Appeal Committee that he <coughs> took on from 1986 until 1999. General Eli Tumwine was also continuously represented uh, um, in the UPDF. In the Ugandan parliament, he did represent that was uh, since uh, 1986. And in 2005, he will be remember, remembered that he was promoted to the rank of a general in the UPDF and named the chair of the UPDF general court martial. Now we will remember him for a lot of his deeds. And on Monday, the 16th of May 2022, Tumwini was among the 34 generals who were retired from the UPDF. And of course, uh, that position that uh, he has been holding still as a general, even after retirement, we do <coughs> know that the country will be celebrating his life as well as the fact that he's now going to be missed. But he will be accorded a state burial according to the media information that is coming in from the Ministry of Presidents saying that they will be giving him a full state burial. And of course, we will be uh, joining the president to actually make sure that we rest uh, his soul in peace. We continue to pray that may his soul rest in peace. But of course, also many, many uh, elegies do still come in for the fallen general. We have get a number of condolences both uh, internationally and of course locally. But for us here on UBC, this morning we will play for you uh, one particular one from uh, Jeno, his comrade uh, Jim Mwezi, uh, who he serves, uh, actually who he has been his predecessor as they serve in the same docket at uh, the ministry. We shall miss his multi-talented uh, life. He was so focused and lived what he believed in. Very truthful. He would tell the truth even where the truth hurts. He was a disciplinarian. He was a, he was really a loyal. UPDF and NRA in Canada. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Well, that is the message from uh, General Jim Mwezi, uh, who did a take after him in terms of service in government. But away from all that, again, we don't tire to send our condolences to the family, to the entire country, and for those who are concerned to interest themselves in the late the life of the late. But apart from that, it is Friday. Nevertheless, as the Bible says, it's God that gives, it's God that takes, but every day we do celebrate our lives. But of course now, putting that far aside, but of course before we do that, also I want to inform you that UBC will update, will be updating you on uh, the events uh, as they will be unfolding when the state uh, comes out with a particular statement on how the proceedings and the burial of uh, the late general will happen. We will be giving you updates uh, throughout the day and definitely will be there to cover every event as it will unfold. It is Friday, Robert. What's on your mind? Uh, I must say it's fairly a, uh, a cold Friday because of what is happening. Well, but, that's it. But that's it. Um, there's always room. I want to catch up with a number of friends and of course also uh, Friday leading me into the weekend also have some time and uh, meditate about the goodness of the Lord. Have you, have you noticed Molen's outfit today? <laughs> she looks I, 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 I wouldn't want to attach it to what you've been talking ma much earlier but I know that uh, it's, it's, it's uh, I don't know today you're going to be in a 
I, I don't know if there's a chicken day today somewhere <laughs> in Kampala. Maybe she's going for yeah. a date with yeah. some serious yeah. person. Uh, well, <laughs> what, what's what's what, what's for Friday for you? What, what, what's on your mind for this weekend? Well, uh, well, Friday comes in with a lot, but of course, it is still a working day. So I'll tell you that I'm still at work and. Mostly it's kind of casual, but again, office wear. That's what I'm going for today. But of course, over the weekend, I also want to catch up with family. And uh, we do know that at least for now, we're expecting uh, students to go back to school any time. And of course, that's when you want to catch up with everyone before even uh, some of the students go back to school. So that's pretty much it. And of course, catch up with some of the entertainments happening. Also around town, I do know that, uh, one Felix, you must be excited about the concert for this weekend. You know, one of your friends is actually having a concert. I don't know whether you're getting us tickets or whether you already have uh, tickets to... You're counting on Felix for tickets. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you something. Yeah, yeah, for which no particular way, concert, by the way? Because there are a number of, quite a number <laughs> this weekend. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, the, are you talking about the one for... Uh, the Big Famica one. Big Famica yeah. one. It's, it's going to be a big one, I tell you. Yeah. It's going to be a big one. This boy has... Uh, I'm sorry, I call it boy. He's, he's, he's come from far. Mm -hmm. The first time I met this guy... Okay, the first time I, I got to know him was when he was in a, in a video as a vixen. There's a lady called Danumansi. I don't know if you know that musician. Mm -hmm. Yes, is it Rema Narumanzi, something like that. Okay. So Pico yes. Maker was, was a vixen in that video. And thereafter, I think he started embarking on his own career. Mm -hmm. He went to studio, he hit studio. He did, he did a bit of a Luga, Luga R&B rap and what. Uh, I remember him, I think the first song was the Pico Maker, Kawako and Shiba. Mm -hmm. You remember that, that, that was a song that I think that opened him up to the yeah. scene. Yeah. Thereafter, he came up with his bullying guitar yeah. and, you mm -hmm. know, you know, Kutama, after that, two that's kids. Kutama, Kutama, yeah. Kutama, Kutama, like that. He, he's been around, he's done some, he's, he's been consistent, and I believe um, he deserves a fair turn up of Ugandans this weekend. Mm. So, anyway, there's going to be a lot of activities, mm. as we did say earlier, loads and loads of activities. I understand there's, uh, there's a bit, today's the last Friday of the month, is it? Because mm -hmm. today being 26 years, it is. Uh, Governor hosts uh, Frigo. I don't know who's going to have uh, Frigo uh, <laughs> alongside who this time around, but trust me, every time Frigo is anywhere, you mm -hmm. want to be in that crowd. Uh, yeah. You want the, the Sikulimba crowd. You want <laughs> to be a part of the crowd. So it's going to be a lot of activities, I must say. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, of course, people from much India, there's a new catchment place that a colleague of mine talks about every Monday. Yeah. I don't know if I want to talk about it, but it involves few things of swimming and what. But anyway, let, let's, let's leave that uh, to now <laughs> for later. We'll have that discussion. But of uh, course, today we have an artist, uh, Molen. We have someone joining us on set who's an artist as well. Yes, we have uh, Josephine Pope who will be joining us. She's already in the building and of course giving us a lot of her music and the rhymes as we head into the weekend. We also remember that Sunday is when we get to celebrate and give praise to the Lord. But some of this gospel music actually moves you into the weekend, which is why I'm excited to have her today. And of course, we'll be getting into her music later on. <coughs> uh, but also, when you talked about a frigo, I remember that we do have people here that love a frigo. I know Uncle Bob is one of them, but Ruben, will be one of those people who will book them <laughs> yeah, for the Chikad Day. So Chikade. I know it's but, going but to be an exciting weekend. And by sure. the way, this time's Chikad Day, I don't know if you've heard of it, that one is going to be at Serena. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a frigo. It has Kavuya Semboga, mm -hmm. the Chance Nalubega, I think it has Sevata, but it has also Moniseka yeah. from Ivory Coast. The lady who sang, Miss you are, Miss you are. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a big one, and uh, probably I think Ruben should be looking out for that particular one. You know, Chikade is real music. I'm not saying that these days we don't have music, but the fact is uh, uh, if you want music that you can <coughs> listen to, uh, enjoy, have meaning. Uh, one of the queries I have with this generation of music is the fact that it's all about dancing to the beat. Yeah. Well, as there, uh, you, you know, they sing and they take you to the scene. Mm -hmm. Someone talks about, uh, comes up with a song where you even can feel you're telling a story. You know, your memories can be driven to, to something. They create a picture. Chikade was all about creating a picture in the mind of the person listening to this song. Maybe so which particular artist, Robert, do you, do you like, think of and that brings you to life when you talk about mm -hmm. all day music? Mm -hmm. The likes of uh, Kabuye Semboga. Like which particular song? It has this song about Bisani. 
you know Jean uh -huh. Yibim Bunye Bunye you know <laughs> this I <laughs> just like but well, uh, gentlemen I want to appreciate uh, that you wow. love the also, but also mm. our generation is bringing out good music and I like the flavor mm. that you know we have adopted these things not to compare that you know this kind of music was better or something but our generation is also doing something mm. and of course we have good. to appreciate Let's that accept. this is the kind of trend that we're moving mm. on the vibes we're bringing on and we will appreciate those too but again, a lot has been happening across the country and of course a lot of uh, stories make, made it to the headlines throughout the news last night. And of course we want to take you some of those. Uh, Robert, what do we start off with on the local scene? Well, what dominated uh, the media, both print and electronic, was the death of General Eritumwine. And members of parliament tried to eulogize the late, where many refer to him as a very honest person. That is, members of parliament you just the late General Eritumwine, who passed on from Nairobi. General Tumwine is remembered as a long-serving member of parliament who represented UPDF with the utmost honesty. Tumwine, who envisaged a Uganda with total freedom and peace, remains a celebrated member of parliament. Professor Ephraim Kamuntu recalls moments in 1979 when he and the late General Eli Tumwine painted the town red after surviving the regime of murder and terror presided over by the late President Idi Amin. Kamuntu, also former Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, described General Tumwine as an old friend who emerged from the Uganda Liberation Front to join the army and fight for freedom of Ugandans. General Tumwine is among the celebrated long-serving members of parliament representing the army since 1986. His prominent one eye defines a legacy of a rich and honesty explained by many members of parliament. For now, turning into the stories, Minister <coughs> of State for Trade, Industries and Cooperatives has revealed that 17 people who died after drinking CT5 gin alcohol succumbed to death due to excessive that is, adulteration of the gin with methanol, which was over uh, 1,600 times higher than the permissible 50% milligrams per liter now specified in the standard for a gin. The minister says the manufacturers used cheaper methanol to increase potency and instead of ethanol that is required in making alcohol and beverages. Now we move to restoring Lubiji. Why it was a sorry state among Lubiji swamp and crochets on northern bypass straight in Wachiso district as Nema shifted up its operations on evicting the forcefully occupants of the swamp. A number of housing structures were demolished by the environmental body and others set ablaze. The puzzled and troubled residents were left in shock as Nema continued with day three of the eviction following the president's orders recently. Even when they cried and carried placards that allegedly read, leave our property, this did not stop the enforcers from carrying on with their assigned duties. Nema, Uganda police, backed by the military police, couldn't spare anyone who illegally occupied the famous Lubiji swamp. Several houses that have been built in the swamp were demolished and many set ablaze. The mood attracted tension as many shed tears worrying about where to relocate. The enforcers also cut crops and trees in the swamp. In the course of destruction exercise, many occupants quarreled and queried the manner of evicting them <coughs> with many alleging that they had legal documents for ownership of the plots. The operation did not spare ghetto youth as they, as their housing units were brought down, threatening to get involved in crime. Now on to Parliament. The Parliamentary Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises did fault and uh, government for disbursing the board of directors of Uganda Airlines without prior due diligence. Now this was during an engagement of Kosase with the officials from the Ministry uh, of Works and Transport led by the General Katumba Wamala. The minister restated to the Kosase committee that the appointment of Jennifer Bamuturachi was a directive from the president. Now General Katumba, the Minister of Works and Transport, has also ap did appear before the committee, uh, Kosase committee, over queries of staff structure at the airlines. The investigating 
the investigation of the Auditor General's report, which questions the loss of over 500 billion. At Uganda Airlines, Minister Katumba Amara told Kosasi chaired by Nakawa West Member of Parliament, Joe Sunyan, that the controversial appointment of Jinfam Trachi as CEO of Uganda Airlines was a directive from his boss. Now crossing over to the international scene, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has ordered the Russian military to increase its number of soldiers by 1,037 uh, uh, to a total of 1.15 million servicemen amid Moscow's military action in Ukraine. Putin's decree, which, took effect, which takes effect on January 1st, did not specify whether the military will beef up its ranks by drafting a bigger number of, con of, of the concepts increasing the number of volunteer soldiers or using a combination of both. Now, the decree issued on Thursday will boost the overall number of Russian military personnel to 2,339,770 uh, including 1,150,628 servicemen. A previous order put the military's number at 1,902,758 and 1,014,628 respectively at the start of 2018. The Kremlin has said the only volunteer contract soldiers take place in what it calls the special military operations in Ukraine. Russian media and non-government organizations say Russia's authorities have sought to bluster the number of troops involving the military action in Ukraine by attracting more volunteers, engaging private military contractors and even om offering amnesty to some prisoners in exchange for a tour of the military duty. Now, regional authorities have also tried to beef up the ranks, forming volunteer battalions to be deployed in Ukraine. All Russian men aged 18 to 27 must serve one year in the military, but a larger share avoids the draft for health reasons or deferments granted to university students. And in the U.S., a U.S. judge has ordered investigators to release a redacted version of court papers used to justify a search of ex-president Donald Trump's Florida home. The public version of the affidavit, a court document that includes evidence presented by prosecutors, could reveal new details about the inquiry. The Department of Justice opposed releasing an unredacted un version amid its ongoing investigation and the FBI search was part of a probe into the potential mishandling of documents. Mr. Trump has denied wrongdoing and insists that the classified files that investigators say were found at his home and also at Palm Beach has already been declassified by himself. On Thursday, the U.S. Magistrate Judge Bruce Reinhardt ordered the affidavit to be released with reductions by noon Friday. He said prosecutors have demonstrated a compelling reason to black out parts of the document which could reveal the identities of witnesses and law enforcement agencies, also the uncharged parties, as well as the investigation strategy, direction, scope, source and methods. Now crossing back to Africa, we look at the U.S. has sent its first ambassador to Sudan in 25 years now, two years after it's removed, it removed it from the list of countries that sponsor terrorism. Ambassador John Godfrey arrived in capital Khartoum on Wednesday and tweeted uh, that he was delighted to be there and looked forward to supporting the Sudanese people transition to democracy. Now, Sudan was added to the list of the countries that sponsored terrorism in 1993 after accusations that they supported al-Qaeda, whose founder, Osama bin Laden, lived in Sudan from 1992 to 1996. In 1997, the U.S. downgraded representation in the Sudan from ambassador to the level of charge ad affair and imposed economic sanctions. The U.S. announced plans to upgrade representation in 2019 and the following year appointed an ambassador. And weathered climate news, historical <clears throat> monsoon rains and flooding in Pakistan have affected more than 30 million people over the last few weeks. The country's climate change minister said on Thursday, calling the situation a climate-induced humanitarian disaster of epic proportions. Pakistan has urged the international community to help with relief efforts as it struggles to cope with the aftermath of torrential rains that have triggered massive floods since last month, killing more than 900 people. 
33 million have been affected in different ways. The final homeless figure is being assessed, the Climate Change Minister Sherry Ramhan told Reuters in a text message. She added that the southern province of, of, of Pakistan has had the hardest hit in the last few days and requested one million tents for the affected people. South of Pakistan is undated almost underwater. People are going to higher grounds, she added. There is a need for assessment and this is being done. We have to make the UN's international flash appeal. This is not a task of one country or one province. It is a climate-induced disaster, she added. Minister for Planning and Development, um, Ashan Iqab, separated, separately also told Reuters that 30 million people have been affected, a figure that would represent about 15% of South Asia's country's population. Well, having looked at the stories, much of it is basically uh, what happened back here in Uganda. And later on, of course, we looked at a couple of stories internationally. But of course, we, as we did tell you, today being Friday, we try to bring on the vibes into your home. Uh, a couple of months ago, doesn't, doesn't seem so far from today, this country was in lockdown. Now, it means that we wouldn't do so many things, not because we actually wanted, but because uh, life had happened in that particular way. So we come to you in your sitting room, in the laxity of your bed, for some of you who are driving or listening from anywhere you are to try and give you a mix of something that does usher you into the weekend. And that's why we have a good morning uh, GMU Friday special. But today, in a special way, we also have an artist, and uh, Molly did talk about her and want to engage her right now. I don't know if I should give uh, Robert the pleasure to introduce her or Molin. Molin, what do you think? Well, I think we all have uh, different <laughs> versions of how we love her music. I particularly love her song, H.T. Wacho. That's, oh. uh, that's a good one. Well, we have Josephine Pope with us here, and of course she'll be telling us more about her music. Well, I might have loved H.T. Wacho, but maybe she also has some new music that she has brought to the scene that we can't wait to hear from. Josephine, a very good morning and thank you for joining us this Friday. I'm so humbled to be here. <laughs> thank you, UBC, for having me. I'm excited. It's a pleasure. It's definitely yes. a pleasure. <laughs> uh, do, uh, do, do you see the man next to you? What do you guys have in common? I'm just saying. Um, what we have in common? Yeah, what do you think the two of you have in common? We are fearfully and wonderfully made oh by God. God. So You're such a beautiful liar. people. <laughs> You're such beautiful a liar. people, beautiful yes. hearts. That is what we have in common. His <laughs> name is Uncle Bob. <laughs> also known as Robert Chirawo Nyonyi Intono. Oh, nice. And uh, he prays with the church of Life Church Namashua. Oh. Yeah. But there's something else Praise in common Jesus. you have that I'm going to let more than tell the two of you. Since you don't want to tell it to yourself. Well, uh, we also, uh, <laughs> both of us, accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior. Yeah. So hey. that is Mullen, one do thing. you see any other characteristic? I think that is pretty much about it. But looking at them, they are all made in the image of God. You're such a timid person. <laughs> <laughs> they are made in the image of God. Maybe that's a similarity. So what did you have in mind? I, I, can't, I don't think no, I have I think it's just I, talking yeah. about uh, uh, one of us association the I features. want to come up with <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course I have my sector for mobilization also here with me uh, anyway <laughs> <laughs> but that is for another day Joseph you're welcome thank it's good you good to have you um, how, how have you been I've been good how is everyone everyone is okay my husband is fine Ooh. my kids are okay oh. mm -hmm. and my ministry music I career is go. going perfect. levels good yeah to good to you know, I just love the confidence that uh, one of the things she put first mm. was the husband you know that is very very uh, encouraging you know sometimes uh, when women get to some level they don't want to even bring out that you can just ask someone who, who is this person you're dating and they can't even mention who they are dating <laughs> well know? she is a woman of god and of course we'd expect that but also josephine uh, this friday what, what songs can we expect what are we in for um there's a new beautiful video i have it has a uh, a Chinyankole drum beat flow to it. Mm -hmm. It's called A Song From My Heart. Yes. Okay. So you're going to love that one. And then 
I have a moyo mtukuvu. I have the beautiful HD watch yes, that has gone yes, all reverence. over the nation. So <laughs> I can't wait to share it with you. And above all, the love of God, because the main reason as to why we sing all these songs, we invest money to see that they come out excellently, is to minister to this generation the love of God, because we've come from COVID, we are in an economic crisis, so people are struggling, people are not going, you know, through this, they're not finding this life, you know, well, some of them. So I'm here to give hope. Wow. Yeah, I'm here to give hope. <laughs> yeah, to give hope definitely, but you'll be able to join us and uh, share with us what you think. But we're going to be coming back to have a topic of discussion again related to art, uh, performances, and definitely music. And of course, Josephine will be uh, being part of that conversation. And thereafter, she will be giving us some of our performances. But do not forget to be a part of our show. We're streaming live Facebook, on Twitter, YouTube. Be a part of us as we do uh, I give you some good vibes on this uh, particular Friday. Now let's take a break. We'll be back shortly having that engagement, talking about a topical discussion but related to entertainment in particular. Live from UBC Studios in Kampala. This is Good Morning Uganda. Pick of the day on UBC. If I'm looking at issues of taxation and all that, I will definitely run for the Kateshumbas. Okay? Okay. If, I look at, uh, if I'm looking at issues of investments and what, mm. I, I, would definitely run, uh, I would definitely run for Dr. Emre Kugonza and uh, Omara uh, Honai Omara. Okay? If I'm looking at issues uh, of the law, I will run for our very, very own people. I have the Oboso bosses, I have the cartoon tools, I have the Robin Arapojos. So you, you, everyone is, is, uh, is talented in one way or another. Did you mention cartoon tools? Okay. Yes. Is he yours? Yes, he is. You as as in NRM? He is. Was brought to you by... Simply make a small deposit of 99k and pay the balance mpola mpola. You can pay in daily, weekly or even monthly installments while you enjoy your new phone. So what are you doing today? Visit any MTN shop near you and get the MTN cupboard the super easy easy. Forget last season. Forget the who's and the all's. Forget every moment that stole the show. Because the real show is here on Go TV. It's the new season. It's action-packed. And it's going to be non-stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup. Make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a Go Coder with one month of Go TV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy non-stop football. Go TV Uganda. Love it. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or give. Get Freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart phone network happiness comes to us in many places it's in knowing the mosquito net keeps our children healthy the wife having the support of her husband it's in deciding together when to have a baby For some, focusing on what's important right now. So, what's your happiness? Make the right health decisions to ensure happiness for you and your family. The Tales of Kasozi, brought to you by Uganda Communications Commission. Hello? Hello? 
this is Kasozi. How can I help you? Hey, Kasozi, my brother. Long time. We last met when we were at campus. It's been a while, but you are the person I'm looking for. Campus? Really? Hey, hey you don't remember me. Okay, so how can I help you? I'm stuck in Gulu making millions and I need to urgently send money to my sick mother. Mm -hmm. But I can't find any mobile money agent near me. I've sent the money to your phone as you can see the message. Eh? It might take a few minutes to come through, but I urgently need you to send the money to my mother. Let me send you her number and you send it to her chap chap. Ah, my friend, I'm afraid your mom is going to die. What? Because I don't know you, I never went to campus and I'm also in Gulu. So can we meet at CPS? We talk about it. Orimusiru. Stay tuned for what Kasozi does next. Tofira, refrain from unnecessary engagement with strangers over the phone. This message is powered by the Uganda Communications Commission. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or gift. Get freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart for network happiness comes to us in many places it's in knowing the mosquito net keeps our children healthy the wife having the support of her husband it's in deciding together when to have a baby For some, focusing on what's important right now. So, what's your happiness? Make the right health decisions to ensure happiness for you and your family. Live. From UBC Studios in Kampala. This is Good Morning Uganda. It is a special edition this Friday and of course we still have entertainment on our topic today as well. But this Friday we want to look into different categories of music and of course we will see this being crossed over into intergeneration. People saying these are the good old days, those are our times. But how is the performance? Have we even taken some of that music that was way back and integrated it into the current music? And of course when you talk about pop culture and all that music, Music, you, you, this is how they call me. They, they, they call it in the gospel category. It's just you know another type of music. But we also need to talk about uh, the gospel music. How is its performance, and how we relating it to culture? How is it going? How are people consuming it? And of course, uh, I do have uh, Felix with me this morning, who is uh, very much fan of <laughs> of the good old days right now, as he talks about uh, going for Chikade. Felix, how do you think there is uh, the, this performance is across uh, the generation that we have right now? Are we able to integrate all these categories in the music that we're, we're giving out? There's a big, big, big difference between what you want to term as the classical old uh, music and uh, of course what you want to call most recent production and not that there's anything bad about the most recent but there's a big it's been a big change into what music was earlier and what determines the kind of music we're listening today and i want to give you quite a number of examples if you look at artists uh that were of the 80s uh you look at artists like um the, in uganda the vast days of this world uh, you look at artists like uh, the Eri Shama Wamala, who we did talk about yesterday. You look at artists like um, the was Kawia Semuga. I don't know if he dates that far back, mm. but of course, uh, even uh, Frigo. You find that the reasons why they sang were the same, by the way, because most of them have have sung about the same things. They have sung about love. They have sung about their country. They have sung about events and days. But 
the way they used to bring out the same message is different. I think earlier on music was a bit more humble and that also defined the artists themselves were quite more humble and quite uh, a bit behaved if I may say in how even they used to put out music. Now, not attacking any people most recent but you find that because every other thing has changed in terms of technology has changed uh, the audiences also have changed probably they want something different the productions have changed there's more machinery I know everything has changed that informs the difference in these generational productions when you listen to songs uh, I want to, to stick to the songs of uh, Eddie Wamala for example you, 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 you say the songs like uh, Makatono, it's a love song, clearly. Mm -hmm. But also a song like, uh, let's say, uh, maybe by Fika Maker because he has a show today, he's, he has a song called Bolingita, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's also a love song. <laughs> yeah. But because they're all addressing different audiences and different times, it's sort of like that's why so i think there's a big difference if you ask me directly yes but secondly we must also accept that everything has changed sometimes musicians and majorly secular musicians have to relate with what the audience needs at that particular time and that's why the very few artists stick to singing the songs that they want and how they want them but because they're in it for the money they have to respond to what particularly the audience wants or expects. Yes, you also look at the fact that uh, most of this classical music has actually been, uh, you know, intersecular to bring, they, they kind of combine these genres. And uh, maybe it also has a lot to do with uh, what, what, what we like these days. Because if you talk about bullying guitar, I'm telling you, you you see how many people are dancing to it. It's a love song, but then the music to it, the, the, the beats that they put in, you feel like you can dance to it everywhere. But also that is why I want to compare the secular music and gospel music and I want to bring in Josephine at this. Um, we have seen a lot of gospel artists evolving more of the vibes and beats and toning from the secular music. Is this, uh, does this kill the gospel trend? Because we do remember gospel music from the world drums and all that. But again, we're seeing now it's kind of, you know, being mixed up with the way we have been doing secular music. Is this affecting uh, uh, the gospel music that comes out or it's for the better? I would want to understand. Mm. I have different takes on that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, um, as trends change, as, as he has explained, people adapt. So if we are talking in terms of uh, music beats, people transition, including the gospel world, because I don't believe rap came from the gospel scene. Mm. But right now, uh, there are very many gospel rappers and they have a huge following and they are preaching the gospel even in their rap. Mm. Yet it didn't come from, I don't believe it came from the gospel world. So uh, in rap or in hip hop, it's a culture. So when you go deep now into the hip hop culture, that's where the issue comes from because it's a whole big, big thing. Mm. It's mm. a a lot, you yeah. know. Yeah. However, if we stick to the message of what you are giving out, mm. I think that is the difference between mm. the gospel mm. and the secular. It's the message. What okay. are you speaking? What are you giving to the public? What are you? And then also the motive. <coughs> Our motive as gospel artists is to minister, to give hope. We are inspired divinely by God. And then the secular world, their motive could be fame, could be money, they want, they're in, in it for money. Others for girls, others are driven by some <laughs> powers, you know. For girls? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not and for boys, <laughs> <laughs> That is interesting. <laughs> so so, so I, when it comes to the secular world, mm they have so many driving forces behind the mm. kind of music they deliver that that, that is the diversity in music mm. and messages they deliver some of them have agendas you know to 
spread immorality, profanity in how they dress and everything. So it's portrayed in their music. However, for us as gospel artists, uh, gospel artists, the the main reason should be preaching the gospel. You know, when the Bible told us that this gospel shall be preached to the ends of the earth and the end shall come. Mm. God wants us to preach the gospel in every way. Some might doze in a sermon in mm. church, mm. but when a song comes and that very sermon is delivered in a song, a song yeah. they might remember yeah. <laughs> the message when they get yeah. back home. Yeah. So we are preaching the gospel in these songs and we are giving hope. Mm. Yeah. Well, that, that's interesting because uh, absolutely I agree with you. It's all about the message that you deliver and, of course, uh, the, the, the motive behind it. And, of course, I understand that there is also a trend that, especially with circular music, mm. recently it has not <laughs> been all about the message. It's been about the fame. And this is why I want to bring in Robert uh, and Bob. The fame is taking over and it looks like the music that we're giving out now, we are not caring about even the outfits. If you can see the music videos that are coming out, and this is not an attack, but especially to female artists, it's not reflective of how they started the music or even the fan base that they had. Now, Robert, is it that people are over chasing fame that they have forgotten the real, you know, way of delivering music? You can still be decent and deliver music or should we be okay with this kind of trend? Actually, of late, uh, I look at some of the musicians, uh, I hope no one takes offense in this, and I'm tempted to think either they are coming from an underworld or a demonic world mm. that we don't know, and they are sent to pass over. Uh, they have a mission. She talked about a mission, what you want to communicate. There are some musicians uh, even that want to label themselves as coming from the world of darkness. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when you go to the Western world, you hear funny names. Mm. Huh? Mm. Someone clearly wants to show that for me I'm Illuminati, for me I have special powers, for me I'm this. And when I look at some of the women in this industry, how they want to portray almost their entire body, even the message in some of their songs. Mm. You've had music today that praises the devil. Mm. You no, know, someone comes up with us, or they have phrases that praise the devil. Mm. So. It's not only about fame, but I think there's also something else that when you open our eyes wide, more so for people in the spiritual realm, they will see that there's some other force that is taking over into this. But also we must understand that, you know, music has become extremely commercial. Mm. Uh, he was talking about the likes of uh, Joe Paul Cafero, Vasude, Eddie Wamara, um, to mention, those people, yes, used to sing, but you'd find that their main job wasn't music. Mm -hmm. They had other things they were doing. Mm -hmm. They weren't entirely depending on music. Mm -hmm. And then they would even say, ah, but don't go. You know, some would just want to entertain people. Mm -hmm. Others, you know, you have a wedding and he comes. And even they would do it for free. Mm -hmm. Today, the music industry is one of the industries in the world, I think, apart from sports, where you earn big if you make a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, whenever everything comes uh, very commercial and it's all about money, that mm -hmm. is where problems come from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because now we're talking of shows that are going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> are you from people coming to see your music? Yeah. Someone's going to come and say, how naked she's going to be? Yeah. Because we know her. Someone is going to come and say, let me look at the provocative, the indecency, those dances, erotic movements. She's going to put aside. That's why but this is, this is also not to only female artists. We also have male artists that... Actually, I wanted to bring in the male factor. Yeah. I've, I've gone to some shows and you see the dances, the, the, the man brings some woman, they fall down, this one is on top, you know? That's no sensical thing. But you see, it is attracting fans. So. The moment mm -hmm. something is commercialized, and of course with the lack of serious regulation, this is why we are seeing that today a person does not care about what message they are putting aside. I want to tell you one time we had a musician here in Uganda who had a song, and one of the major words in this song I think was over, Bada, something like that. But even came out after some period and put money and said, if anyone can tell me the meaning of this word, you take the money. People tried, 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 until he came out and said, mm -hmm. the truth mm -hmm. is, that word has no meaning. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so it kind of gets back to the message that we're sending out through this music. And uh, of course, I think we are over we are focused on just, you know, the fame and the money. But also we have seen stunts that uh, musicians put across before the show. They bring up, they are even involved in drama. And, and, and Felix is always very close to these musicians. The drama that they create before concerts or even before releasing a video or a song, it looks like it's just... It's a stunt. They are creating it just to attract fans, and is that isn't that telling of which kind of musicians that we have right now? <laughs> well, uh, we, we have the musicians that we deserve. That's one thing I can tell you. <laughs> our generation, yeah. because every day they, they, they don't do anything strange from whatever we do also as a generation. That's a matter of fact. I want also to say in the same way that. Uh, I think our society isn't any different from the kind of musicians we have today. Uh, we are only able to pick them out because they are in the limelight and they stand out. But they only do things because they know the society and the generation and the audience will definitely appreciate such things. Mm. You talked about issues of dressing. Away from artists today, look at how our girls dress. I was privileged to be a part of one of the, the concerts, I think, last month that was uh, wines, blankets and wines. But if you went inside there and you saw was, what was inside there, mm. you will know that uh, this generation is, is, is going to have a lot of challenge becoming parents because <laughs> the, the pain is with what they are going to pass on uh, to Even the little ones. Even rhymes in ginger, it was uh, blood. I, I was a privilege to be a part of that. <laughs> but, but, but I tell you that our artists here have been shaped by what society wants. And I said that earlier, that that's the biggest challenge, that they are responding to a society demand. Mm. I'll tell you, in Uganda, you have, we have artists who are very decent. Mm -hmm. But you know that they're not popular? Mm. Uh, you look at w ladies like uh, Maria Mundagire. Mm. They have been in this industry for quite a time. And they have tried to, to maintain a bit of sanity mm. in terms of how, even what they sing, mm. the kind of music they do. What, but who talks about Maria Mundagire in music? <laughs> Let's be honest. She had her time. There is a time no. when she was... Uh, Trust me, if you listen to her music, you would know that her music is not out of time. I will give another example. Today we have we have we have people who make shows. Like for example, we have this whole thing of singers. I don't know even who brought those things in this country, but those things of Koja and singers for whatever reason, God knows. And they're also now becoming artists. Because mm. they hold concerts. You you understand. Now I'm trying to define a society for you that that should also be seen as part of the problem. So, the problem is not necessarily the artists, but the people who are on the receiving end of what the artists have to offer. Mm -hmm. So it's important for us also to check ourselves mm -hmm. as people who receive. Mm -hmm. Trust me, there are societies you go to and they only do these things because they are trying to pull you, even the stance. So how about the people that are trying to pull don't actually get to fall in these traps? But I think, Felix, there, uh, there comes in a, a challenge whereby, you know, these to some extent are seen like icons. Yeah. yeah? Uh, to some people they're like role models and, they, and what they do has a greater impact. I want to be than what society wants. Mm -hmm. So I believe of a musician who position themselves for others to follow. I want to tell you, I've seen so many young girls who tell you, I want to be like so and so. Or so many young men who will tell you, I'll give you a short example and briefly. Many young artists today that want to follow the likes of Bobby Wine, the likes of Baby Cool, you find these guys, I'm not saying these artists are doing this, but they must have dreadlocks. They must have, uh, you know, they tie their pants as if they are going to fall. Yeah. It is balance. <laughs> they must engage in drugs. You get it. Because they believe that drugs, uh, this hair, this way of dressing is what makes these people. So if, what if these guys had come on the stage and sat uh, away like the likes of uh, Eddie Away? You know, he's a musician. The likes of uh, Le Vixen. Silver Chagurani. Silver Chagurani. Yeah. You know? I believe that it goes back to how they were raised. Mm. Family? And yeah, I believe that if someone was raised by a godly household, a 
God-fearing household or even parents that are very intentional at raising the next generation, I, I believe we can have something better. Because if your parents raised you up with certain values as the bible says train up a child in the way that they should go that even when they are way grown they will never depart so even some of us and i know you can all testify that even in our days when we were still teenagers even in our days when we were still young mm -hmm. there was still perversity mm -hmm. the, the people artists were still perverse even then Though they but, but, had but their also, version of right. perversity, but, but because we were raised yeah. in a certain way, we chose not to go that way. Mm -hmm. However, kids who grew up in violent homes, uh, absentee parents, yeah. who had TV as their role model when these <laughs> parents were not around, mm -hmm. now they keep seeing those TV characters, they are ro role models as their parents, even as they grow. These are the people they look up to. So when they change the dress code, even these uh, people change because they grew up being parented by those celeb That's celebrities. That's what they have grown up seeing and yes. they know that. Yeah. Yes. You can only give yes. what you have. Yeah. yeah, so in case parents are available, and intentional on raising their kids in godly way, in values, in systems, yeah. they will not depart. Yeah. They, they will really not depart. I and believe so. Absolutely. And of course, we also want you to be part of this conversation. You can get us on social media. Our Twitter handle is at UBC TV Uganda, but also streaming live on YouTube. That is UBC Television Uganda. And of course, you can use the hashtag, hashtag UBC GMU to catch up on our uh, social media platforms. We will be taking a break. But when we get back, we will be diving into the music. Josephine is still with us and of course, giving us more of what she has in store for you this Friday. And of course, after that, we'll also be back with more in the entertainment. What to expect over the weekend? We'll take you through some of the weather updates. How can you prepare for the weekend? We'll take you to the road. And of course, what is uh, happening? What is making headlines in uh, some of the newspapers? We will be back after a short break. This is Studios in Kampala. This is Good Morning Uganda. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or give. Get freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart smartphone network. Forget last season, forget the oohs and the ohs. Forget every moment that stole the show, because the real show is here on GoTV. It's the new season, it's action packed, and it's going to be non-stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup, make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a GoCoder with one month of GoTV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy non-stop football. GoTV Uganda, love it. Happiness comes to us in many places. It's in knowing the mosquito net keeps our children healthy. The wife having the support of her husband. It's in deciding together when to have a baby. And for some, focusing on what's important right now. So what's your happiness? Make the right health decisions to ensure happiness for you and your family. Peak of the day on UBC. If I'm looking at issues of taxation and all that, I will definitely run for the Katechumbas. Okay? If I look at, uh, if I'm looking at issues of investments and what, mm. I, I would definitely run. For, uh, I would definitely run for Doctor Emure Kugonza and uh, Omara uh, Omara. Okay. 
If I'm looking at issues uh, of the law, I will run for our very, very own people. I have the Oboso Bosses, I have the Katuntus, I have the Robin Arakojos. So you, you, everyone is, is, uh, is talented in one way or another. Did you mention Katuntu? Okay. Yes. Is he yours? Yes, he is. You as as in NRM? He is. Was brought to you by... Simply make a small deposit of 99k and pay the balas mpola mpola. You can pay in daily, weekly or even monthly installments while you enjoy your new phone. So what are you doing today? Visit any MTN shop near you and get the MTN cupboard the super easy easy. Hello, hello, hello. Every waking day is a reminder just how beautiful this our land truly is the kind of beauty that you can only find here in the lush green all around us and the wondrous sights within it's in the distinct aroma of our cooking to the taste of food that takes you on a journey in the sound of homecoming and the sound of mother earth in the magnificence we find on our travels and the exciting moments we experience. Ours is the kind of beauty that comes in all things big and small. All we have to do is awaken our senses and truly enjoy what's uniquely ours. Explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Forget last season, forget the oohs and the ohs. Forget every moment that stole the show, because the real show is here on Go TV. It's the new season, it's action-packed, and it's going to be non-stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup, make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a GoCoda with one month of Go TV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy non-stop football. Go TV Uganda, love it. Live from UBC Studios in Kampala. This is Good Morning Uganda.
Good morning, Uganda. Join Josephine Pope and Benji on guitar to worship God today. Buen kutu nulira, yeso omo kwano. Ne unya ichitiwa choli na sebo. Ebi gambo, ne bimbola, ne salo. Kubechiti wacho na manigo bezukulumye Osa nide, osa nide mukama fetu kusinda ai mukama osa nide tu kuwa echiti wacho Osa nide, osa nide la yekwe Katondo wa manyi That's such an intro Hallelujah Yes, so Yes, so Mummy, 
Okay, now uh, that was quite powerful, I must say. Uh, it, it, it took me away, and uh, it's nice worship. So, what's the inspiration of the song, Josephine? Wow, this particular song, I I didn't sing all the verses, but it takes me to that place when everything has failed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you choose to go to the presence of God and you tell God I'm here in your hands. Mumikono jo. Nzize kugwa mujine mikono because muri mo mukisa. Muri mo kuvera. Muri mo amani mwenagwa. You know sometimes when we are going through issues you go to men and you cry to your friends and tell them everything you're going through and they backbite you in turn yeah. they disappoint you they they tear you apart however if we take all our burdens like the bible says cast all your burdens cast all your cares unto the lord because he cares for you so remember that jesus was crucified and his hands were pierced and stuck on the cross just for us. Mm -hmm. So instead of falling in the hands of men to be torn apart, why don't you fall in the hands of God and be healed? Why wow. don't you fall in the hands of God and be blessed? Why don't you fall in the hands of God and be comforted? You know, we find answers with God. So. It, 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 it's quite beautiful uh, when Josephine brings it out and uh, definitely talking about God, it does take me to equal to that place. And when you are giving that particular, um, uh, well, understanding about the song, it took me in the Bible uh, and I did talk about this story much, much, uh, I think last week about um, Batrumau and how he knew where to go for his problem. 
Mm. That was quite uh, very, very interesting, I must say. But of course, also, we're going to be getting much of these uh, songs and definitely uh, those gospel songs from uh, Josephine and uh, the big man, I'm told he's a big man, Benji, <laughs> but the guitar you did say. Yeah. Uh, definitely. <laughs> he doesn't seem to believe he's a big man. But anyway, I just want us to look at, uh, <laughs> I just want us to look at briefly at the papers, what's trending in the papers, and we'll start it off with a new vision, uh, what's in the headlines. Uh, there are definitely... What's top in the picture is General Eddie Tumwine, and they give you a track record of his life, what he has been, and where he's served. Now, we're also looking at the same where we see among meeting the Pope, uh, what they talked about, how she got there, is inside the papers. But also, Moniseka is back in town, and we hope to see him uh, where. Now, Lord uh, Puppet's account also is one of those things that is making headlines in the new vision. But crossing over to the Daily Monitor, still they give you a recount on who General Eddie Tumwine has been. Now he was born in April 1954 and did uh, die in August 2022. They also take you through his life, his serving uh, officer, life as a serving officer, uh, many more to him but also police dig up bodies of wife children at home of the torturer now they give you a scope pull out social media influencing how does it work in uganda and a couple of jobs and definitely there's a pull out uh, for some of you who will be looking out for places where you're gonna have some good time this weekend uh basically also crossing over the daily nation karua army of foreign hackers rigged election that is Martha Karua, who is a running mate of Raila Odinga. And of course, Odinga running mate claims that uh, Chebukati was aware of such plots. Now, mix of the old, new, and coming back of governors sworn in in uh, Kenya there, as of course the rages of legalities are also wither over the heads of Kenya. But that's basically what's in the papers. And we are all going to take a break right now. But when we come back, we'll be looking into, again, entertainment, but we also expect to have more performances uh, from Josephine and, of course, uh, with Benji here on the guitars. Let's take a break. Live from UBC Studios in Kampala. This is Good Morning Uganda. Happiness comes to us in many places. It's in knowing the mosquito net keeps our children healthy. The wife having the support of her husband. It's in deciding together when to have a baby. And for some, focusing on what's important right now. So what's your happiness? Make the right health decisions to ensure happiness for you and your family. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or give. Get freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart phone network every waking day is a reminder just how beautiful this our land truly is the kind of beauty that you can only find here in the lush green all around us and the wondrous sights within it's in the distinct aroma of our cooking to the taste of food that takes you on a journey in the sound of homecoming and the sound of Mother Earth. In the magnificence we find on our travels and the exciting moments we experience. Ours is the kind of beauty that comes in all things big and small. All we have to do 
is awaken our senses and truly enjoy what's uniquely ours. Explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. The Tales of Kasozi, brought to you by Uganda Communications Commission. Hello? Hello? This is Kasozi. How can I help you? Hey, Kasozi, my brother. Long time. We last met when we were at campus. It's been a while, but you are the person I'm looking for. Campus? Really? Hey, you don't remember me. Okay, so how can I help you? I'm stuck in Gulu making millions and I need to urgently send money to my sick mother. Mm -hmm. But I can't find any mobile money agent near me. I've sent the money to your phone as you can see the message. Eh? It might take a few minutes to come through, but I urgently need you to send the money to my mother. Let me send you her number and you send it to her chap chap. Ah, my friend. I'm afraid your mom is going to die. What? Because I don't know you, I never went to campus, and I'm also in Guru. So can we meet at CPS? We talk about it. Orimusiru. Stay tuned for what Kasozi does next. Tofira, refrain from unnecessary engagement with strangers over the phone. This message is powered by the Uganda Communications Commission. Forget last season. Forget the who's and the all. Forget every moment that stole the show, because the real show is here on GoTV. It's the new season. It's action-packed, and it's going to be non-stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup, make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a GoCoder with one month of GoTV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy non-stop football. GoTV Uganda. Love it. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or give. Get freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart smartphone network. <laughs> hey, it's time to play. Let's go! We're glad you came. Yeah! Because we love to Order. share. Oh. Let's have some fun. What should we try next? To everyone. Oh. Because we love <laughs> When you talk about our motherland Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, you cannot fail to smile because of the smile that fills the faces of the citizens. Our nice good weather and nature that sustains us all, that enables us all to continue each in their own way because we are all different even according to each individual's work. But what joins us to become one person is the sweetness from the flavored drink Alleluia Jinga Tea Drink and Alleluia Tamarind Drink. The flavor that quenches your thirst while at the same time treating and healing your body because it is 100% natural. Enjoy the drink that has got the tamarind juice in it. Made by Alleluia Reflexology, Healthy Solutions and Nutritional Research Center Limited. Get yourself a bottle of Alleluia from all shops around. Forget last season. Forget the who's and the all. Forget every moment that stole the show because the real show is here on GoTV. It's the new season. It's action-packed and it's going to be non-stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup, make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a GoCoder with one month of GoTV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy non-stop football. GoTV Uganda. Love it. This is Good Morning Uganda. Yes, Good Morning Uganda special Friday continues. And of course, right now we want to take you through some of what you can look forward to over the weekend. And of course, we will be giving you a little bit of tips to what movies are actually going on. 
Now, also, when you look at uh, most of the movies that we've been telling you about, their series as well that are coming up, I do understand The Flash. If you are a fan of the DC superheroes, you know that The Flash Season 9 is almost out. And, of course, we've been looking uh, out for it. And, of course, uh, there also have been a few series that have been streaming on Netflix. Now, they are actually coming out today to sh previously show you what happened. Season 7 is streaming on Netflix right now. They did actually release it today. They will be releasing the next, uh, I mean, the, the eighth season, which is the one we are looking uh, out for. That is uh, very soon also getting released. But a few of the movies that are also likely to be in cinema. And of course, if you have been uh, following up on the Dragon superheroes, well, those are really fanatic and mostly in animation. Now, with the dragon, uh, with the, uh, the dragons that we have been looking at, it follows a story, kind of a family story, actually. It follows a story of uh, uh, dragons after waking up from decades of slumber. Just uh, Beerus, the god of destruction, wants to defeat Goku. And uh, the super god who is also being portrayed in that character, whom had been sent in his sleep, Goku fights with him to save Earth. Now, in their fight, to see who is actually nailing it in saving Earth, they're causing a lot of, a lot of destruction along the way. And of course, uh, that is what you can look forward to in uh, the next chapter that is coming out with the dragons. Uh, this weekend also it will be showing in cinema just go to your favorite and of course you can catch up more on that we have a trailer and we'll be taking you through that to see what you can expect from the next chapter of the dragon what if some new world ending evil shows up So, who are you actually after? Who are you? An old-fashioned superhero. <clears throat> Is that all the power you've got? It won't be enough to win you this fight. <clears throat> This guy seems to learn his opponent's techniques as he fights. You need to believe in yourself and unleash that power. Everything you've got, no holding back. We're dealing with quite a formidable foe. Well, Dragon Ball right there for you. And of course, it is just full of action. If you enjoy superheroes, you know that these ones, they are good ones, but some are up for revenge. And uh, that is what you can expect from uh, this weekend's uh, Dragon Ball premiere. Of course, you can get it anywhere. But also what is uh, coming out is The Invitation. Now, the movie Invitation just uncovers the story of a family and a young girl who is trying to look for her close relatives. Now, in this story, after the death of her mother and having no other known relatives, Evie takes a DNA test and discovers a long-lost cousin she never knew she had. Now, invited by her newly found family member to a lavish wedding in the English countryside, Evie is first seduced by the host. However, she will soon discover that this invitation could turn out to be a nightmare. Now, she, she's soon trusting a nightmare of survival as she uncovers twisted secrets about her family history and, of course, unsettling intentions behind the sinful generosity. Well, uh, this is featuring uh, one of the known, known actresses, especially when it comes to action and most of these mysteries, Natalie Emma. Now, Natalie Emmanuel is known for her appearance in uh, Army of Thieves. She can all... Uh, she also appeared in Game of Thrones, actually, and uh, Fast and Furious, The Fate of the Furious and Fast and Furious 9. She was there. That is Natalie Emma, who is uh, playing Evie in The Invitation. This movie is coming out today and, of course, also out in your favorite cinemas. Let's take a look into the trailer. It is a horror, a lot of adventure out there. So you are in for some little bit of action. Let's take a look into the trailer.
was always just my mom and me to have a family. That's what I really want. No way. I got a cousin. That is the whitest man I've ever seen. He wants to meet up. Oliver? Cousin Evie. <laughs> it sounds so Jane Austen when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mom always wanted to take me to England to learn about our family history. There's a wedding coming up, actually. You should come. I would love to, but oh, I... Come on, everyone is dying to meet you. Uh... Wow, it's incredible. I believe this is one of our important guests. Evie, this is a close friend of the family, Walter Deville. Uh, hi. Hi. Looking forward to getting to know you better, Evie. What are they doing down there? Miss, you should return to your room. We're all so delighted that you're here. Which one's with the groom? The groom and his bride will make their grand entrance tomorrow. Ready? I, I can't shake the feeling that everyone is staring at me. Can you blame them? You and Walter seem to be getting awfully close, Evie. I'm curious, though. What has he told you about us? Ow! Let me see. <gasps> Here she is. Where are the bride and groom? As you all know, there has been someone missing from this table. But that once broken bond will be renewed tonight. <laughs> to Eve. My new bride. I want to go home. But this is your home. Get up prepared. What you ask for. Sometimes that's the kind of family you get. But it, there is a lot of, of uh, adventure in there. Also the horror. It's kind of scary. But it is a good story to keep you up. But also we do know that Avatar is coming out with another movie as well. If you have been following up on the Avatar series, you know that this is actually a movie to look out for. Well, it's back in, in cinema. And of course, it takes you through a story of the alien world of Pandora, uh, live beings uh, that are being, uh, beings who appear in primitive but highly evolved. Well, that's the Avatar uh, story. Now, because the planet's environment is poisonous, human navy hybrids called the Avatars must link to human minds to allow for free movement of Pandora. Now that uh, uh, takes in Jake Sully who is uh, being played by Sam Watington, a paralyzed former marine who becomes mobile again through one such avatar and of course falls in love with a navy woman Zoe Saldana. That is uh, um, she's actually being played by Zoe Saldana and a bond with, with her grows. He is drawn into a bottle for survival of her world. Well, that's the story as the avatar beings are connecting to human beings. Let's take you through uh, the trailer of the next coming movie, which is also The Way of the Water.
avatar right there for you but also this september they're actually bringing out another movie that we can look out for as they give more connection of the avatars meeting the team of marines uh, over the water and of course now they wonder what is happening with these beings they have to connect with them that's the one after the way of the water that will be coming out this september but of course we'll be giving out uh, the latest uh, release when it comes to the trailer for the september movie well, also away from that and what you can expect in terms of entertainment, we also know that uh, a seasonal forecast is out. That is from the East African Prediction Center, ICPAC. They did uh, bring this uh, press release yesterday after analyzing most of the weather systems that usually affect our weather. That is across the region, uh, taking in much of East Africa. And of course, uh, the, uh, the main story coming out of this season is we are looking at another failed season. That is the fifth consecutive season to have little rains. And this is the general forecast. Also, the Greater Horn of Africa is bracing for its fifth consecutive failed rainy season. As the October to, no uh, to December 2022 forecast shows high chances of drier than average conditions across most parts of the region, particularly looking at the drought-affected regions of Ethiopia, Kenya, and Somalia that are expected to receive insufficient rainfall until the end of the year. Now, the poor conditions are likely to extend to parts of Eritrea, most of Uganda and Tanzania, of course, whereas Djibouti in the eastern far region and Ethiopia central, uh, the northeastern part of South Sudan could also be above average uh, precipitation. Now, the good news is that at least part of the region is actually going to be having more of these wet weather activities as expected. But temperatures are also expected to remain warmer than average. And of course, that is where we're saying that we could also be looking at more of the drought crisis, especially for areas that have already been dealing with most of those. You also look at the fact that uh, we've had mostly uh, we've had most of those extreme weather events especially towards uh, the coastal area of, of um, the region especially when it comes to the east african part that has been dealing with most of that drought crisis much of it is well, much of it is towards uh, the coast of Kenya. We're looking at more of the forecast indicating that we could be having warmer weather over there, but also in terms of wet weather conditions. According to this season's forecast, we are seeing that at least the areas that have higher chances of getting rainfall, we're looking at at least for Uganda, mostly the southwestern side and also the western part of the country in green colors right there, indicating that we could be having more rains over that area. But most of the areas are highlighting yellow colors within the normal range, but also not enough rains. Now, where you see the orange colors and red, that is where we're expecting reduced wet weather activities. This is the forecast that is coming in from ICPAC, indicating how the season is going to be performing. Most of it within uh, the uh, below average performances of rainfall especially looking at much of Tanzania as well across the region it's likely to have reduced wet weather activities uh, still for Kenya and Somalia most of those zones are expected to have a reduced wet weather activities as indicated by the forecast but also in terms of uh, temperatures we're looking at uh, warmer than normal temperatures now what we have been having at least uh, for the last uh, for this decade for the past decade temperatures have been rising and of course we have seen uh, above normal trends meaning that what we were used for or what we were used with in terms of temperatures in the past is no longer what we can experience that is what it means to be above normal you look at most of the areas that have been highlighted across uganda the southern sector still expected to have uh, you know at least within the normal conditions but we'll have warmer weather indicated especially for northern uganda also at least indicating uh, normal conditions between 35 to 45 uh, to 40 percent of uh, uh, that is uh, the probability for the normal conditions expected for northern uganda now at least what that what that can interpret to is that we will have warmer weather over northern uganda also parts of western uh, side that have been indicated in the white colors right there indicating that that is where we'll be having uh, more of the warm temperatures 
but the rest of the country seems to be uh, forecasted to have within the normal ranges of temperatures and that is what we can expect but we also do know that uh, the Uganda National Meteorological Authority is going to be carrying out a national uh, forecast that is in terms of downscaling this regional forecast to make sure that we are focusing mostly on the zones across uh, Uganda and of course looking at different regions when we can expect those rains to kick in what are the implications what advisories is the, uh, are the authorities giving out at this point from regional level to ensure that we can consume this information and of course prepare for the season but also the, uh, there has been a lot of talk when it comes to weather forecasting and of course uh, just recently we saw uh, what happened in Hungary after uh, some of the forecasts that did come out indicated that there was uncertainty now a forecast was made across Budapest and uh, there were rains that missed uh, the area where the, the forecast had been indicating but also government of Hungary did take a stand saying that these forecasters have not given us what we needed they made us miss the fireworks that were supposed to be celebrated on that day and because of that they were uh, threatening to close out uh, the you know the, the, the forecasting centers now Climate Without Borders as an organization has come out to say no this is wrong as an international weather community we stand in solidarity with the Hungarians uh, in terms of the forecasters right there who have been making these forecasts saying that this is a take by government that is unacceptable because most of these forecasts are subject to uncertainty we are in a, an era where climate has been changing now what used to be uh, tools of forecasting or prediction we no longer have those and according to their press statement they are saying that uh, um, you look at forecasters the first mission is protect life and property and of course when uh, when the Hungarian meteorologists saw danger in the forecast they did what any of us as forecasters would do and warned the risk of life for this the head and deputy of uh, the head of their National Weather Service have now been dismissed from their post because of that now the forecast from Hungary was intended to save property and life especially as they were looking at uh, a huge celebration the fact that there was a uh, chaotic scientific uh, predictions that did not come to pass in that area shouldn't be um, uh, a factor for the Hungarian government to come up and dismiss these people from their post. Of course, they go on with this press statement, also giving names of the members that have put a statement. And this is going to all the authorities, especially when it comes to most of the organizations that lead with uh, w that lead with most of these weather predictions. Especially talking about uh, the World Meteorological Organization, you do have organizations that will now come up to analyze this statement and see whether they can intervene to see the, uh, that um, the forecasters over there are not taken accountable for the uncertainty in weather prediction and that is where we are so far when we're talking about climate change affecting even uh, the scientific methods that we have been using in predicting weather. Well, away from that, we also want to look at what is happening across the country for today. And of course, we'll be tapping in from our satellites, looking at Uganda and what we are starting off with this morning. Now, we did start off with mostly in terms of sunny and cloudy conditions across most areas. We do have some rains in the forecast, but that will be mostly during the afternoon. For this morning, most areas are having mostly cloudy conditions. Now, a little bit of sun coming through towards the eastern part of the country, but we also have the Karamoja region starting off with quite some sunny skies and that area is also likely to continue with similar weather even later in the afternoon. Now we started off with a little bit of rains over north uh, western Uganda that is across West Nile where we did see some rains across parts of Arua extending to Yumbe. That area is still having those cloudy conditions bringing in a little bit of rains but looks like that system is also headed westwards so it could clear as we head towards the afternoon but for now that system is still there and also parts of uh, central northern Uganda we do have clouds over there parts of Adele you look at Gulu as well with mostly cloudy weather we had some rains over Gulu this morning but those have cleared we also look at that system that is starting to develop across Lake Albert that is the one that could be bringing us rains across Midwestern Uganda parts of Hoima Masindi we do have rains in the forecast for later in the day so across uh, Kabale Highlands, we're looking at mostly a sunny morning and most of that will be uh, incorporated in with uh, in terms of cloudy conditions. Now across Lake Victoria Basin, Kampala starting off with quite a sunny morning. We do have some clouds that are starting to develop across most areas within Kampala, Mukono. You look at Wakiso and Tebe as well with mostly cloudy weather as we speak. 
but we do expect uh, intervals of sunny conditions that will be coming in across Mount Elgon Highlands. We're looking at a cloudy morning from Bale. We also do expect a little bit of intervals of sunny skies this morning. Most of the rains that are expected for today will be mostly across the southern sector and of course the western stretch where we're looking at more of the clouds developing and could be giving us rainy conditions uh, that that are expected for today but again you also look at the weekend as you head towards the weekend at least most of the areas have been forecast to have mostly rainy conditions especially uh, for the western sector but also some of the areas towards northern Uganda will continue with those rains for Saturday and Sunday so you can expect that especially West Nile we might be looking at most of those rains uh, coming through for Sunday and Saturday but the rest of the country southern sector across eastern Uganda we will be dealing with intervals of sunny and cloudy conditions it looks like it's also a good weekend I would start off across Kampala especially for those looking forward to go for uh, some of the festivals I know Felix um, uh, he's looking forward to one of them. There is no way you're going to convince me that you're not, <laughs> you're not going for any concert this weekend. So the weather is looking well, nice. Well, concerts is something that is, uh, yeah. yeah. I think the weekend is basically work for some of us. A little bit yeah. work and yeah. now that universities are opened, people guys are back at school, so we'll be having a lot of work. Some of us will do a lot of that. Yeah. Well, um, also we can bring in a lot uh, away from work. I'm wondering the people that uh, just <laughs> the people that just work over the weekend. It's crazy, but again, work is work. You have to do that. Well, I understand we still have more performances coming up. Surely, mm. yes. and uh, clearly it's going to be a bit of worship as I did get one much earlier. We're going to go into more of that, but uh, of course, as we uh, prepare Josephine to come on and give us her other performance. Uh, you, 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 you did say I'm going for concerts and all these things. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be going for a movie? Yeah. To, to, tomorrow or today? I think I, I, I might catch it today. I might catch it today in the night, especially the invitation one. The movies? horror. I, you can't fail to make time for movies. <laughs> movies for me are day. a sleep pill though, so yeah. I, I use them when but I want to good. sleep. That's the thing. How can you watch I a know. horror and you're like, I use it? Well, because you're going to have nightmares about it. And the invitation, I wouldn't recommend to no, watch it uh, well, before well, What you I'm sleep. saying is, it's like, I'm not a, I don't watch lots of movies, unless there's Junior. Unless ah, there's ISP. So okay, for those ones of yours. You. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we, 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 we're going to take a break. And uh, more than when we come back, we're going to be having another performance from Josephine. And of course, thereafter, we'll be having uh, a bit of sports. And we'll be crowning it up with another performance as we say goodbye to this beautiful Friday morning. Let's take a break. This is Good Morning Uganda. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or give. Get freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart for network. Forget last season. Forget the oohs and the ohs. Forget every moment that stole the show. Because the real show is here on Go TV. It's the new season. It's action packed and it's going to be non stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup, make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a GoCoda with one month of Go TV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy non stop football. Go TV Uganda. Love it. This is Good Morning Uganda.
TV represents the first TV in Uganda. So when I speak on UBC TV, I mean I'm speaking to my nation. In these last days, O oh Uganda, this is your time. I am Okama, Osanite, Tukua, Echiti, Wacho, Osanite, It's moving. Hallelujah. You're blessed, you know. <laughs> You're very, very blessed. But thank you so much for that performance. And I believe it's touched very, very many, many people. So tell me, how do people get your music, Josephine? Um, my music is on YouTube, on Josephine Pob uh, Music. That's my channel. The spelling of Josephine Pob is right there on your screen. And. Uh, it's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, it's on Tidal. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Every month, by the grace of God, I've been releasing something new. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have lots of music coming up. So when is the chivul? <laughs> hmm? When are you doing a concert? When are you doing, I mean... Most hopefully, an experience. by the grace of God, I'm believing God to do a, an album launch oh, next oh. year. Oh, yeah, we can't and, wait. And I believe it will be something big. So, Definitely. I'm gathering up 
you know, we, we, the fan base. Uh -huh. Trust and me, Good Morning Uganda will be very happy to host you, uh, to have be part of this event, I can tell you. I'll be so humbled. Indeed, indeed. Yes. So, of course, uh, be able to follow Josephine Pope, uh, her music on all social media channels. And, of course, uh, download, go and buy that music so you do support her sister there. But we're going to have another break. And when we come back, we will be going into sports with Ruben Casera. Um, Pima. There's much activity in sports, try, trust me. And this activity is being by these Manchester guys because of that one game they won. They are all over. Uh, I don't know what he has to say about that, but uh, let's just take a break when we come back. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you love soccer, Josephine? Um, but you know that Manchester bit, has been losing. A bit, but I love basketball <laughs> and ah. swimming, so take oh. me there. There's a lot, of you course, also me. happening. Uh, Benja, do you support soccer? Of course. Uh, fortunately, I'm a Liverpool fan, so... How fortunate is that, if I may ask? <laughs> <laughs> it's fortunate because it's, 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 uh, I have trophy. Okay, yeah. but you have a loss. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't matter. So it's, it's you, you're counting on so what you're, you're shall, been banking. I'll get them on the second. Well, much of that is what Robert is going to be telling us in the sports updates, but that is after we do come back from this break. This is Good Morning Uganda. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or give. Get freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart phone network forget last season forget the who's and the all's forget every moment that stole the show because the real show is here on go tv it's the new season it's action-packed and it's going to be non-stop football with over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a world cup make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season get a go coder with one month of go tv value for only 25,000 uganda shillings and enjoy non-stop football go tv uganda love it Happiness comes to us in many places. It's in knowing the mosquito net keeps our children healthy. The wife having the support of her husband. It's in deciding together when to have a baby. And for some, focusing on what's important right now. So, what's your happiness? Make the right health decisions to ensure happiness for you and your family. I'm glad to be here this morning. Of course, I'm smiling. Although we are mourning the death of the late General Itumwene. Um, I know many uh, who have been part of his life wouldn't want to see a smile on my face. But of course, we have to celebrate his life. He's done his part, and now it's our time to take on the mantle and to make sure that whatever he craved for must go forward. Anyway, but away from that, I'm going to give you sports, and I will start with basketball. Those who have really look, been looking for plots, uh, today, uh, of course, the playoffs start today. Uh, that will be at uh, the 9 p.m. That will be Lugogo, game one in Lugogo. 
We'll have uh, uh, the Titans taking on uh, power. Uh, that's a good game to catch. Um, if this game was played five, six, seven years ago, you'll be sure of Joseph e. Kong. Uh, you'll be sure of a guy called Michael Mikiadi, uh, Chikiri. Man, they used to call Chikiri. <laughs> uh, then uh, there was uh, the Dura Ramadan who played uh, for so power. Uh, then you have uh, uh, Norman Bleak as well. You even have, uh, okay, if it was eight years ago, you would have even a Komakech in that power team. But now power has different players, um, if you ask me. Uh, most notably, Geoffrey Solo and then the man they call Magaro, Isaac Afidra. <laughs> Magaro, I know Magaro, but then, <laughs> but all you know is the basketball is... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chikiri, Chikiri is very comicky. The nickname is Chikiri. He loves uh, by being in Chikiri, so he was named Chikiri uh, by his teammates. So, but the game is on tonight. Uh, that is in Google Indoor Stadium at 9 p.m. The game, that is game one of the best of five series. Uh, the Titans will take on the, po the power. The Titans are a team from KIU. Um, they call themselves the, themselves the Titans. Uh, so you can catch this game. But uh, when you look at uh, um, their, uh, the power team, it's actually being led by Geoffrey Solo. Uh, Solo has been playing well for power ever since he left the Titans. He played for KIU Titans for a couple of years. Then he was signed by power. And um, I think this is going to sort of show them that he needs to revenge against the Why did they, they let him go? Um, uh, that is uh, the KIU Titans. Uh, but it, it, this game will depend on Solo's up form. I mean, as he been preparing hot and cold, uh, Geoffrey Solo. Uh, so. If Power want to get anything out of this game um, for, against the Titans, Solo and Isaac Afidra must be in the best of shapes um, uh, to get uh, the ball rolling. Uh, but anyway, uh, when you look at uh, the, the side of uh, the Titans, uh, Julius Rutuama and Raymond Mohomuza are the men to be in charge of the Titans. The men who are in charge of the, tit the Titans. Then they will hope that Arnold Chiseka and Elvis Motevi control the ball better than they have most of the season. Now the two players, uh, that is... Uh, Arnold Chiseka and Elvis Motevi. Um, for me, the, the, power, the, the Titans, the, the KIU Titans I, I enjoyed watching had uh, my man called Michael Wanga, uh, the, the left-footed, uh, is it left-handed? Uh, not footed, footed is the feet. The left-handed shooter. Uh, for me, Bwanga, I have watched basketball for so many years. Uh, besides um, uh, Babuzango, the Congolese, and Saida Misi, and Kami Kavange, um, the foreigners, I have not seen a player like Michael Bwanga. Yes, soon you might have had, a, can have a say, um, the suit of UCU and the suit of the Titans and Power, uh, the suit who played at UCU between 2013 and 2015, uh, was one of the best shooters in the league. But Michael Bwanga was a special talent. I mean, he slows down the pace, the tempo of the game, but he knows where the rim is. He would get you uh, about several 10, 8, 20 points in a game, and you would feel proud as a Titan uh, supporter or fan. But they don't have Michael Bwanga now. They have uh, the Lion Chiseka Arnold and Elvis Motevi uh, for all their game. But if, if they want to get anything out of this game, they must keep Solo quiet. Geoffrey Solo should not be allowed to have the, the, too much time on the ball. If you do allow him that, he's going to destroy you. He's going to, 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 uh, to hurt you. So um, um, the coaches, that is Ruswata and, and Mohomuza, must uh, find remedy uh, to stop Geoffrey Solo. Then the second game will be against the Blazers, against the Panthers, against the Panthers. But the Blazers have really showed that, uh, yes, it's their first time to be in the league, but just the name, the Blazers. But the players have been there. The players have done it. Um, just imagine a team uh, but that has uh, players like Saida Chivili, um, Saida Misi. I love Saida Misi, the way he plays, the way he controls the tempo of the the game and the energies they have, the yards, and of course, the steals and uh, the rebounds he gets for that team are uh, next to none. So, they will be also be playing Saturday, uh, that will be uh, 4 p.m. That that's game one. Then, when is shall have game two? Um, actually, it's the best of three, not the best of five, it's the best of three. That's the quarterfinals, uh, it's the best of three. Uh, so uh, game one, uh, before I go to, to the, game, uh, the, the, the Titans game, game one will be, will, be, will be Friday, then Sunday will be game two, and then next Saturday that will be September 3rd, September, um, uh, they, they, they shall have game three. So this is the best of three, not the best of five. Best of five is semifinals, sorry about that. Uh, it will be best of three. Uh, Titans against the power. Then uh, the Nam Blazers, that is the Mongo Blazers against uh, the Panthers. Game one will be Saturday 27th August, then game two uh, will be 
Wednesday, 31st at 8.30 p.m. Then game three will be on 3rd of September. Uh, that will be at 4 p.m. Uh, that will be game three. And the Blazers really have a lot um, uh, to, to prove. They have played well in the regular season, so they need to prove us that they can really play well again uh, away from the regular season. And they, they, their first test is against the Panthers, and we expect them uh, to... Um, uh, Comfortably, uh, but is cruise past the Panthers. Away from that, let's cross over to England. Uh, we had uh, a couple. We have a couple of games tomorrow. The early kickoff is uh, at St Mary's. Um, that will be between uh, Southampton and Man U at at two thirty. Then Brentford will take on Everton. Uh, that will be at five. Then Brighton uh, will take on Leeds. Uh, then Chelsea will take on Leicester, struggling Leicester. Uh, Liverpool will take on Bournemouth. Uh, City will take on Palace. And the late kickoff will be uh, the London Derby between Arsenal and Fulham. Uh, that's a good game. Mitrovic, uh, the big uh, man, will be there to show. Then Sunday, Premier League, Aston Villa will take on West Ham. Wolves will take on uh, Newcastle and North and Forest will take on Spurs. That will be at 8.30. Then the French League one, Nantes will take on Toulouse. Royer will take on Clermont Foot. Then we'll have Nice against Marseille. Brest will take on Montpellier. Troyer will take on Anga. Rams will take on Lyon. And PSG will take on Monaco. That will be the big one in France. Then in Germany, Leipzig will take on Wolfsburg. Uh, Mainz will take on Leverkusen. Uh, Hoffenheim will take on Augsburg. Hatter Berlin will take on Dortmund. Schoka Offer will take on Union Berlin. Bayern Munich will take on Gladbach. The last time I watched this game, it ended 3 1 in favor of Gladbach. So Felix Manyendo, uh, not Felix Tinkunda here, Manyendo, uh, the NTV guy, uh, loves Bayern Munich. So the last time Bayern Munich played against, against um, 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 Gladbach, the game ended in Gladbach's favor. So this time around, I I don't know whether it will end in uh, uh, tears or not uh, on side of uh, Mr. Manyendo, but I think uh, Bayern Munich have enough in them in their tank to finish off Gladbach. That's if they play well. Then in the Serie A, uh, Cromnese will take on Torino, Juventus will take on Roma. Wow, that's a good game to catch. Then Milan will take on Bologna and Spezia will take on Sassuolo. That will be Saturday. Then Sunday as well, Verona will take on uh, Atlanta, Salentana will take on Sampdoria, Fio against Napoli, and Lecce will take on M. Poli. Then in Spanish La Liga, Heta will take on Villarreal, Baca will take on Valadoid, Espanyol will take on Madrid. Wow, wow. Then on Sunday, we'll have Elche Sociedad, Volcano Mallorca, and Almeida will take on Sevilla. Then, of course, in the, in the Dutch LDVZ, we have a couple of games there. And uh, Fen will take on Imen, Sparta Rotterdam will take on Eagles, and then Vitesse will take on Warwick. That will be in the Dutch um, uh, LDVZ. Unless otherwise, I think I've got to go. But Felix Sinkunda is here, um, and Molen Kenyana. I'll take you through. Uh, but uh, Felix, uh, as you come in, um, uh, we lost uh, one of, uh, for me, um, the most decorated soldiers in the NRA, uh, UPDF era, um, if I'm not mistaken. That is uh, the late General Eric Mwine. And I'm pretty sure that uh, so many of you have memories about uh, the foreign um, uh, general. And um, I'm sure Felix he might have some one or two uh, things to talk about uh, the late General Eric to Mwine. Uh, Felix, um, um, in just a few seconds, um, what can you talk about um, the, late, the foreign um, general? Yeah, well, well um, in fact, I am not in position even to say anything about the foreign general, honestly mm. and truly, Ruben, knowing mm. uh, the kind of the caliber of the man mm. he was. Mm. But uh, the little that I've known from the generation that I come from, yeah. I know that uh, the general is one of the very few people mm. who by then saw a problem uh, in the country and understood that it was not enough for them to mm. just know there's a problem but yeah. to find a solution. Mm. Uh, for those of us who have a small relationship with the, with, with the historicals mm. uh, in terms of family, you notice that he was a very young man yeah, when true. he chose to to join the guys mm. in the bush mm. and his charisma stands out because at even at that age he was able to to be to take on a level of command mm. but also as they say he's the first man who shot the bullet okay so at least um, he has he has run the race mm. there's something he has written on his page not yeah. just one page but pages of life mm. uh, he's been a family man which you know that many of the, of, uh, of the comrades struggled with having mm. left the bridge starting a family and you know it was quite hard but 
and he's been a friendly man. Well, you, you've been, you've been very close <laughs> people. I don't know why Ruben you want me to say. Uh, no, you're, you're the right person to, to really I, say. I really have a lot. Uh, yeah, but you, you've been so close to the band, about so, yes. uh, the, the foreign general. Uh, but for me, the I know no song. <laughs> ah. I asked him how he came up with the I know no. <laughs> I told me he just loved singing. And, yes, uh, well, that's it. But anyway, Molin. Um, you look smart, I should say. Um, so anything about the late uh, January to Mwini? Yes, actually he was, he liked music. He's mm. a man who really likes music and was a singer. And uh, he was also on the board of trustees for the National Culture Center. He has really been a huge support of entertainment. Mm. And of course his contribution will be missed for sure. Okay, well before I go Felix, one thing I hated most is uh, I watched the, the sentiments of Honorable Samuel Jew. And I was so dis, uh, disgusted by what he said about the fallen in general. Mm -hmm. And for me, when you when you lose somebody, it's not time to uh, mm -hmm. to point fingers or to say whatever you want to say. You know, you can be relevant even after uh, by praising somebody. You can be relevant. But I never say with you. I don't know what whether you, you have a heart or not. But anyway, you are lucky that uh, you are living in the era where I'm 70. Mm -hmm. It's given you a lot of peace <laughs> and freedom. But other eras would never have lived after talking about that, uh, saying that against somebody <laughs> who was really who somebody who spent all his life uh, to make us be the people we are today in terms of mm. peace and uh, enjoy whatever you're enjoying. Because just imagine if they didn't choose mm. to go and uh, get rid of the, the, the tyrant, where would we be uh, to the Felix and others? Well, it is European so, who will understand such uh, things. The, the, the same Jews uh, should yeah, also yeah. respect <laughs> the family of the General Tumwene. Mm. They should know that uh, much as he has got, he had uh, the negative part of him, he had the positive part of his life mm. and he had a contribution to this to this, to this country. Mm. So you him talking in the, in the press about how this and that. I didn't like it, by the way. I'll be very honest with you. Uh, well, uh, so like that the, the, there are very many people who are actually having different uh, thoughts about the late Geno, but they are entitled to their thoughts. Clearly, the, the, the that few is like. Yeah, yeah. It mean, doesn't only permit you to attack somebody who is yeah. gone, who has sacrificed <laughs> his life for this country. <laughs> Much, you know, there's a problem with you, you young people. Is <laughs> 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 now, 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 now we are the problem. Somehow, somehow, <laughs> somehow <laughs> I saw that coming. To, 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 to insult to not, not their opinion, eh? to, to, to what no, they no, want no, to think. Some opinions don't matter. Mm. They don't. You don't come out and speak about Ruben who has gone. He was this. Oh, okay, fine. You had your issues with Ruben, but let him rest in peace. You don't have Indeed. to talk. Anything. Indeed, and definitely also has people I wasn't who loved him. He loved people who was a family. I saw he's a family man. He's and a yeah. titan. No, that's the wrong statement. But, but, but no, no. What? But but also mm? we need no, to keep in mind, Ruben, that uh, away from just even this uh, the sentimental, the fact that there are many people who have benefited from the life of the late. And who are going to lose because the uh, the gentleman or the general has passed away? So we must respect them in what we say, and definitely what we come out uh, to to bring. As as so it's, it's not fair. It's painful. But anyway, as I said earlier, <laughs> it is a reflection of what people's thoughts are, and definitely they will be so judged they by it that. So they well, it no, we will judge them according to, to that. Anyway, rubbish. I remember oh, when, when I to speaking rubbish. I remember when 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 the late Abidiga uh, Abidiga died. Abidiga. Abidiga. Mm. Uh, some of the members of parliament came out, but uh, they have been ailing in hospitals equally, <laughs> and we and they have been calling for prayers, and, and and it makes me feel that I think we just need to have a, a, a sense of courtesy. And this being a person who has served the country in an for, in, in in different institution capacities. that serves everyone, because yeah. we're talking about the UPDF, this is an army for the people. The fact that you know he has been involved with politics does not take away from what he did for this country mm -hmm. from the very beginning, serving from, from the army and making sure that we have a peaceful Uganda. That is enough to you know for him to be respected for. Mm, anyway, we do continue to pray for the late uh, General Eni. So, but the is he in now? We can't Has know. he reached? We can't know. Then we talk to God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is for Chidabo. But, yes. <laughs> but we're going to have a Check break. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a break. And uh, when we come back, we'll have the last performance from Josephine. And uh, definitely we want to wish most of you, our viewers, thank you for being with us Monday to Friday, 6.30 to 9.00. But I will be able to have this particular performance and I will also be wishing you a good weekend. Let's take a break. Every waking day is a reminder just how beautiful this, our land, truly is. The kind of beauty that you can only find here in the lush green all around us, a 
and the wondrous sights within. It's in the distinct aroma of our cooking to the taste of food that takes you on a journey. In the sound of homecoming and the sound of Mother Earth. In the magnificence we find on our travels and the exciting moments we experience. Ours is the kind of beauty that comes in all things big and small. All we have to do is awaken our senses and truly enjoy what's uniquely ours. Explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift, buy or give. Get Freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smart phone network. This is Good Morning Uganda. Zajakala kube 
Tuna kiriza yeso pero mloko ziu Jagalo jembi nirigambo Gamba ai yesu Mkukiriza moti magwangi Overo mloko zi wange Oralelo mzikiriza Mtigwa fano zuki ya kurani Era nini ya yesu kristo Ndi mloko le Haleluya Aoloko se Kaimba kadako kagambanti Mukama God, you're all that matters. Tugena kakolanga kari. Live, just me and Benji. God bless you. Deep calling unto deep Me and you, Jesus You're my audience of one Just to see you face to face And to hear your still small voice I focus my attention on you Right here in your presence Deep calling unto deep Me and you, Jesus You're my audience of one Just to see you face to face And to hear your still small voice I focus my attention on you Cause you're all that matters You're all that matters You're all that matters to me Jesus You're all that matters You're all that matters You're all that matters to me Jesus Right here in your presence Deep calling unto deep Me and you, oh Jesus You're my audience of one I wanna see you face to face I wanna hear your still small voice Focus my attention on you Cause you're all that matters You're all that matters You're all that matters to me Jesus You're all that matters You're all that matters you're all that matters to me, Jesus. So I lift up my eyes and look to you. I look to you, Jesus. Today I've made up my mind to fall. On you, I focus my attention on you. Oh, I lift up my eyes and look to you. I look to you, Jesus. I've made up my mind. My attention on you I lift, I lift up my eyes I look to you, Jesus I look to you, Jesus I've made up my mind To focus on you I focus my attention on 
beautiful sound and uh, yeah yeah that's a good one for me and I think it's going to be my favorite now releasing <laughs> no it soon yeah, yeah. finished shooting its video last okay. weekend so yeah it's gonna be powerful that was beautiful that was beautiful and obviously let me know when you're having that album launch I have to be there I should say the music is good I'm loving the vibe today and uh, obvi obviously that's uh, that brings us into the weekend it's a good way to start the weekend Felix wouldn't surely, you agree surely there's no better way than um, Josephine and Benji here ushering us into the weekend it is but of course for some of you who are gonna be doing lots of activities don't forget to take care of yourselves uh, the weekend is filled up with a lot of uh, uh, activities and all these things, so be keen to take care of yourselves. As a must, make sure you hit church on Sunday. Please go to church, take that offering happily, support the works of uh, ministry. Any uh, parting shots from you, Josephine? Yes, I want to thank you for having me here it's at always UBC. A pleasure. It's, it's always a, a pleasure. pleasure. I want to send my greetings to my church where I come from, me and Benji. We come from Fanero Ministries wow. International. Lovely. And we want to send our greetings to our pastor, Apostle Grace Lubega, our leaders in choir. Mama Sandra Nsiko, and I want to send shout out to my family, my husband, my child, and my bigger family, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mwongi, and all my siblings. Yes. Benji, any shout outs? <laughs> right. Any shout outs to the world? <laughs> yeah, that's big yeah. indeed. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, to all our viewers, thank you so much for staying with us since the hour of uh, 6.30. And definitely, it's the time for us to say goodbye, enjoy yourselves, but importantly, take care. Try to be kind to one another. And go, to church. and go to church. Definitely. It's a church Sunday. Is, church, church is no discussion. Please, be and in church. Yeah. Be kind to one another. Spread love. Let's uh, meet you guys on Monday morning. The Muslims say, Sha Allah. <laughs> This is Good Morning Uganda. Every waking day is a reminder just how beautiful this, our land, truly is. The kind of beauty that you can only find here. In the lush green all around.